In this video, we're going to be doing some wheel and axle practice problems. Okay, so let's read this. The figure shows a doorknob with a radius of 4.8 centimeters and a mechanical advantage of 4. What is the radius of the inner rod that connects to the, uh, the knob to the door? So we're going to assume that the larger doorknob is going to be basically our wheel here and that the rod on the inside is going to be our axle. And so we know that the IMA of a wheel and axle is going to be the radius of the wheel divided by the radius of the axle. Okay, so if my mechanical advantage is 4 and the radius of my wheel is 4.8 centimeters, what is my radius of the axle? I then can move this over here, so I get 4RA equals 4.8 centimeters. And if I divide both sides by 4, I get an RA, the radius of my axle, is going to be 4.8 divided by 4, which equals 1.2, and that would be in the same units of centimeters. What would happen to the mechanical advantage if the radius of the doorknob were doubled? Okay, so there are two main ways to do this. Uh, the way that I usually think of it is, well, if I have an IMA, it's the radius of my wheel divided by the radius of my axle. And if I double the radius of my wheel, so that means I'm basically multiplying it by 2, that's just like multiplying one side by 2, so I have to also multiply my other side uh, by 2. Let's move this over here. By 2. Therefore, my mechanical advantage, I'll just write it this way, my IMA will also double. Okay. Another way to do that is, well, I had this last problem with certain values, okay? So if I stick, uh, if I'm trying to find my IMA here, and I double the radius of my wheel, and if the radius of my wheel is 4.8, if I double that, I get 9.6. Let's say the radius of my axle stays the same, that was 1.2, 9.6, divided by 1.2 equals 8, okay? And that is double of the 4 that I had last time. Therefore, I have the exact same answer. The IMA will also double. What is the IMA of a car steering wheel if the wheel has a diameter of 40 centimeters and the shaft it's attached to has a diameter of 4? So I'm going to say, okay, this is my wheel. This is going to be my axle. Okay, and I know my equation is IMA equals the radius of my wheel divided by the radius of my axle. Okay, uh, if now this is in diameter, so that means I have to divide everything by 2. So the radius of my wheel is actually 20 centimeters, and the radius of my axle is actually 2 centimeters. Okay, I want to make sure that I'm using radius here, because that's what my equation asks for. So I have 20 centimeters then for my radius and 2 centimeters as the radius of my axle. Therefore, I get an IMA of 10.